The first £1,000 of dividend income earned by an individual is tax-free regardless of your tax band. However, in 2024-25, that will reduce to £500. As a landlord, you could benefit from what's called the property allowance uh, if your income is £1,000 or less from property. Now this is beneficial uh, to those people who run a very small property business uh, but I can't see it applying to most people uh, because even if you have a house uh, your rental income will usually be more than a thousand pounds per year. There are other tax-free uh, allowances uh, and benefits. One of them obviously is the ISA individual savings account for the tax year 23-24 uh, your ISA allowance and everybody's ISA allowance in the UK is £20,000. This means that an individual can save or invest up to £20,000 in a range of ISA products such as cash ISAs, stocks and shares ISAs, innovative finance ISAs, lifetime ISAs uh, with all returns being tax free including no capital gains tax but I can't give you financial advice you need to speak to a qualified investment advisor for that. Uh, but for example if you invest £50,000 in a stocks and shares ISA and it goes to £18,000 the £3,000 profit is not subject to tax. Another example is uh, a junior ISA designed for saving for children which has a tax free allowance of £9,000 per year and I strongly suggest you look at ISAs because I think they're a good tax wrapper. Any interest, dividends or capital gains tax earned within these ISAs as I said earlier is completely tax free so it's very efficient and it grows over time uh, and it is a really good thing to do uh, and usually it's very low risk but that is not investment advice just to be clear. Now there are some state benefits in the UK that are not subject to tax which obviously provide financial support without affecting uh, your tax liabilities. For instance disability living allowance, child benefit subject to income levels and if your income level goes above that you obviously lose it and then you've got housing benefit which isn't taxable either. So if you're receiving child benefit for say two children it would not count towards your taxable income but if you go over uh, the threshold then you lose your entitlement to child benefit. Similarly winter fuel payments given to older people for heating costs is another tax-free benefit. The rent room scheme which allows you or any individual to rent a room in your house uh, provided it's furnished uh, you can earn up to seven and a half thousand pounds uh, which is tax free. So if you rent a room for say £600 a month uh, and the annual income uh, if it's rented out for 12 months it would be 7200 that is completely tax free you pay no tax rent whatsoever. If you and somebody else own that property together there's two of you husband and wife or a different uh, scenario you split the income half and half. So this is very useful if you have a spare room uh, and you want to generate some income to pay towards your mortgage uh, or just want some extra cash flow. Capital gains tax has changed uh, over the recent years uh, and it's important that you stay ahead of the game on this. For the tax year 23-24, the tax free allowance for capital gains tax has reduced significantly to £6,000, uh, which is less than 50% of what it used to be. This means that if you realise a gain when you're selling an asset, you may have to pay CGT, uh, and the allowance means you get less money in your pocket because you pay more tax. So let's say you sell some shares that have increased in value and the gain is £10,000. This will be uh, taxable above the £6,000 uh, so you'd have to pay some tax uh, which would be on the £4,000 depending on your overall income. It's important to note that this allowance is per individual so if there's a couple then you both get 6000 each uh, and obviously if you're an individual you get 6000 alone. Uh, so that could reduce some of your tax but it's not nowhere near as good as it used to be or as generous as it used to be. And of course you can time when you sell the assets to maximize your allowance if you're selling two properties let's say yeah, and they're about to exchange in March you can do one after the 6th of April so you can use your allowance for the following year because it was sold in the following tax year. Now you can see from your personal uh, allowances exemptions reliefs uh, to capital gains tax there are multiple ways to legally earn income uh, by reducing the amount of tax you pay legally uh, but that requires financial planning and good management. As always, any questions in the comments below, happy to answer them. If you like the video, press like, make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching the video.